I'm Dr. Anant Raman, consultant endocrinologist at Magna Clinic for Obesity, Diabetes and Endocrinology at uh, Bangalore. Pituitary gland. What are the symptoms does a pituitary gland problem produce? Many of us uh, may not be even aware that there is a gland called the pituitary gland, but uh, pituitary gland is called the master gland uh, because it produces multiple hormones like the growth hormone, uh, it produces the gonadotropin, LH and FSH, it produces TSH, a very commonly assayed pituitary hormone is TSH and also prolactin. So these are the hormones that it produces. So it can produce symptoms because of either hormone excess or uh, decrement in the amount of hormones that are produced. It can also uh, produce symptoms because of mechanical effects. So let us come to easily understandable mechanical effects. So if there is a tumor in the pituitary, you can get, actually get a headache. And uh, if you have a, a tumor in the pituitary, it can actually grow upwards and compress the optic chasm. So that is where the optic nerves cross over like that. So uh, in at the crossover point of the optic nerves, if there is growth, then you can get something known as a bitemporal hemianopia. So it becomes difficult for it to do tasks like driving. You may uh, bump into objects and your visual field may get contracted. So you will be able to uh, see things which are in the center of your visual field, but not towards the side. So that is one important uh, symptom of uh, uh, pituitary uh, lesions. So uh, then again, what are the hormonal uh, changes uh, that it can produce? It can produce a wide range of hormonal manifestations actually. Uh, coming to very common pituitary disorders, prolactinoma is a very common pituitary disorder. So among women, it produces uh, a symptom known as uh, oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea. That is either the, your cycles either suddenly stop coming or they become more irregular than what they were usually actually. And also they may be associated with headache and you may also have difficulty conceiving. So that's a symptom that uh, uh, a high prolactin level can produce and prolactinoma is among the commonest tumors. So in my clinical practice, I may be seeing a few cases uh, every month. So uh, coming to uh, the next uh, uh, more uh, other common uh, pituitary disorders. So we do get uh, non-functional pituitary tumors, which again presents with present with headache or uh, they are detected incidentally on uh, CT scans. They do not produce much of symptoms actually. And we also do get uh, patients who have postpartum pituitary necrosis. So following a heavy bleeding during the uh, delivery, during the time of delivery, there is an injury to the pituitary gland and there is a, a decreased hormone level which is seen, uh, which causes, uh, you know, lactational failure, which causes uh, irregular cycles or stoppage of the cycles. So these are things that we see commonly in adults. Of course, uh, congenital pituitary co disorders are common and then the children will present with uh, uh, you know, poor growth and lack of sexual maturity. So these are the things that are seen with pituitary disorder. Rarely we do get uh, Cushing syndrome and acromegaly. Cushing syndrome is a disorder where there is excess cortisol production. That is also because of a small tumor in the pituitary and the person becomes overweight, develops diabetes, uh, excess facial hair growth is there. And also we get something known as acromegaly where there is a growth hormone excess where the hands and feet become large and uh, your jaw becomes more prominent. There are coarse facial features and also again you get uh, diabetes and high blood pressure. So all these things are uh, symptoms of uh, pituitary disorder.